How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. Last episode, we helped Sheriff Gray with the, um, the Laymon Raiders. That's, I think, their name. And now, I don't know why we're here. I think I saved over there, but... Okay, I guess. And why is my stamina so low? I'm so confused. Okay. Let me just get the horse and get over there. We're gonna help this guy. I can't remember their name. The one that is, like, madly, madly in love with another woman from the Braithwaites. This is obviously gonna end in some kind of, wait, trouble between us and the Braithwaites or whatever. <laughs> or, it's not gonna help, obviously, but we'll see how it goes. But I remember saving, like, right next to them. I guess the game just spawns you randomly anywhere when you save? I don't know. Because I remember a couple of inst instances where I did not actually spawn correctly where I wanted to be. Like in the toilet or something? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, he's at the horse other side. Hey, man. You got my money. Oh, right, the money. <laughs> sure. Did she give anything for me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My oh. God. What a woman. <laughs> She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family. We've still got some money. Fine. How do we help? There's no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on, we better get going. How are we going to solve this issue exactly? <laughs> that, not your horse. Okay. Did he just pay me twelve dollars for that? I don't know. If that's a lot. Or... All right. me to Rhodes. I feel like that's not Come worth on. it. Come on. We'll see. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. And then what? What are we supposed to do here? I don't know. I feel like something bad is about to happen here. Can't just go around and declare your love to the woman in your enemy's family. <laughs> My bad. Oh. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman. Not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Is that it? There, there they are. Ladies. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Fight this mob. We must begin. Leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. This is really not the best of ideas. Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <laughs> okay. All right, ladies. This is great. <laughs> we know our song is a good one. Oh, my God. And we know our Calls is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let live. This is gonna be fun, isn't it? We must fight us 
Keepers and honors, we now, cook now. the food and we oh, the take us is... down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Beggar Road, Mr. What was your name? Uh, oh, did he just say his true name? Okay. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. We'll hear it all. Very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it doesn't come to it. The message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. <laughs> Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. Is it? I, I don't know about this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm here, hopefully. Oh, that's the gray sheriff, right? Oh, no. Don't give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. That's a pretty specimen, I grant it. I mean, so far, so good. Is that the bank? Oh, okay. Ladies, get down! Oh no! Shut your mouth! What the hell is going on? Oh my God! Shit! Causing all this trouble. You don't even know what And gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live mm -hmm. as equals. equals. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Mm. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. <laughs> His philosophy dependent hey. on biology, What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. <laughs> Stop them from ruining the speech. <laughs> you learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Uh, oh, you always were. Bo, why don't we just, just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? <laughs> I'm the sheriff. I'm the sheriff, brother. You Don't worry. Hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Oh no, this come is. On, Let's go. Quick now. Come on. We Just. Go before they think twice. Oh lord. Are they? What are they doing? Me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield. No one goes to. Okay. What exactly are we doing right now? I am so confused. I, I thought there was about to be trouble there, but I mean, so far so good, I guess. Let's just go with Bo. Don't want to go back and hear the speeches. I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting, right? <laughs> I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope <laughs> and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. Sure. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. I, uh, this is getting you know, complicated. The Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and... Penelope said, uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. Why can't I? Can I, I okay. I mean, I guess we're interested in the gold, obviously, but. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family, we have money, but I don't. <laughs> Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a 
artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm -hmm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, right. That wasn't too bad. I really thought there would be a fight there, but <laughs> I even got a golden badge for this. Okay, so what now? I guess here? Leopold, I'm not doing anything for Leopold again. Lenny or Abigail? Whatever, we're going over there first, and then we'll decide. <laughs> Although I'm not sure if I want to... Well, we're 10 minutes in, so... Maybe another main mission could potentially not take so much time. I don't know, we'll see. Depends on how, when we arrive. Okay, I really thought we were about to, like, fight with the whole town <laughs> again. <laughs> Thankfully, nothing happened. That was like a terrible idea. <laughs> very, very bad. Okay, so I guess we're trying to maybe, um, I don't know how to, uh, to describe it, but drill for information from this guy, Bo. I guess he's stupid enough to <laughs> uh, tell about his family secrets and stuff. Maybe we could actually figure out something about this gold they were talking about. Of course he doesn't know, but... Might be able to figure it out from someone else, maybe. You think all this Lemoyne air is free for you? Who's this but what, what do you what do you want, buddy? Huh? Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. Don't want any trouble. Just passing through. Could have killed you right there, buddy. You know what? I, ju I just gonna ignore him. Unless they like directly ambush me, I'm not gonna even bother. <laughs> it's interesting, they're, they're nearby our camp. Maybe I should have killed them. <laughs> I don't know. Horse needs cleaning, and we are... We should take another mission, probably. I, I'd feel bad just ending the episode 10 minutes in. Let me stop here. What is she doing? Is she... Keeping watch. Interesting. Rush horse. There we go. Yeah, hold still, girl. Hope that works out. Uh, let me. She? Yes, she's standing with us. Hey, Miss Cat. No good. Too good. I'd like the chance to shoot a fella and not feel bad about it. Somehow that doesn't <laughs> surprise me. <laughs> Stay alert. I guess. Okay. I didn't know women take watches. How you boys doing? Oh, because there's like a, like a party or something. I don't know what's going I'm on in here. But mark my words, one of these days, Karen will slip over Okay, let's throat. talk to Abigail. There she is. What's up? Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. I am so confused. Okay. Seems to be a lot going on. Something sure is going on. Me. Okay, thank you. All right, well, I mean that... Wait, where is that? Oh, it's nearby. Okay, well. Guess we're planning something. She won't slit her throat. She'll cut her throat clean out and drink her blood. What is she talking about? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got her thrown cut her throat clean and drink her blood, that's creepy. Okay. Okay, let's, let's go. Come on. Come on, you can gallop. There we go, finally. <laughs> Maybe I have to go through this path. I mean that's not the right way, so go through the woods. Hello, Jose. Oh, everyone is here. What's up? What are you guys doing? Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. 
Why? What? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, That's a bad idea. Yeah. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I feel like that's a bad idea. Really? Sell it to the Braithwaites? Terrible idea, okay. Thank Why is everything a terrible idea we'll with these people? Dutch asked him to look into something to do Wait. with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still. Right? Yeah, exactly. I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Mm, and it's I don't time know about that. made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy. And a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, <laughs> helping, I'm sure. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get it's it. It's always about the, mo about the money, isn't it? God. <laughs> maybe once in your life, think about here yourself here. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Oh, uh... This is Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. Okay, let's go. I don't know what we, we were doing here. You. you heard the man. Driver. Proceed, driver. Please. Now I'm a dr I'm always a driver. I don't know. I just for once I, in my life I'd like to be the main character. <laughs> it's like everyone has got plans except for Arthur. He just follows everyone everyone's plans, I guess. I don't know if there was a point in turning around here, but all right. Do that, I guess. Cause I'm the driver. Does that work? I guess. What you want? Oh. Found something. Out in the hills. Thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Relax. I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Okay, I, I'm really impressed by Jose's skills here. I'm doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional experience. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. Are All we right. actually gonna do that? Next oh stop, my god. The road saloon. Here we go. Uh, uh, what? Are you guys crazy? This is crazy. Okay. Okay. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Oh. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Like gangs us. Like us. Yep, obviously. Yeah. 
That don't surprise me. This is really bad. I feel like this is a bad idea. <laughs> Just this could get ugly. Obviously. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood view. This is we'll really bad. Something. I ain't playing, Jesse. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's. Idiot. <laughs> I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. Smoke this pipe. <laughs> Bring your lip Sorry, man. just a bit. Squint. Oh. Hey, <laughs> what about you? You can't speak. You're okay. turned idiot. Right. Okay. I, I did. Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there, Fenton. There, there. Don't get mad now. This is really bad. <laughs> okay. What a terrible plan. I've never seen such a terrible plan in my life. Like, couldn't you do something else with this moonshine? Just dropping it, dropping it off somewhere would have been nicer. <laughs> Why did I slow down here? I don't know. Uh huh. Okay, we're good. I mean, they they they're probably gonna figure it out. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. Wait, how do I look? Just a shame you'd strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> I look the same. I look exactly the same on Earth. <laughs> this is not this guy's. Okay. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Mel. Oh my god. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. <laughs> Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Hand out the liquor. Oh, Zia's great, man. He's a great. <laughs> wow, okay, I'm impressed. Things are going smoothly. Do I go? I mean, he's. I thought he's holding the door, but I guess it's not. Oh, I should. Okay. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother, Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. <laughs> oh, <this. laughs> Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, Fenton. Uh, I don't know what raise gla raise glass raise bottle. I don't know. This is okay. Just keep them coming. I am okay. I guess it's working. I raise glass, raise bottle. There you go, buddy. Okay. I've been with. This is way more than 30 minutes, isn't it? I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> hey, send a couple this way, will ya? Free drinks. Up you come. Don't be shy. Oh, wife is gonna kill me. This is really bad. <laughs> oh, we went out for milk. Don't be scared of Fenton. He rarely bites. 
We gotta stop. We gotta stop here. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Lemoyne Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Lemoyne Raiders again? You. Me? You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, oh, okay. No. Shit. It's the Lamoine Raiders. Oh, ah! This is really bad. How many of them are there? I see a lot of them. Wait, let me stop here. God, there's always trouble, <laughs> isn't there? This is good. Let's bring that. Get them all. Do something about what? I follow Jose upstairs to escape. God, wait, wait a minute, dude. Oh my god. Shoot this bastard! I what? <laughs> Think you can steal from us? You're dead men. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that worked. Hey, hey, this way. You die, Get out of here. What is this gun? The, ow! Where is this? Hey! Oh my god. Okay. Let's go. So confused. Oh my god. Come on, Franklin! This is not stealthy. <laughs> what? I'm getting this out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got off the back! Got more coming up! Did I switch pistols? Oh, I have two pis different pistols. Okay. Oh, hello. Got him. Oh no. You think we wouldn't find you? Keep out of our way! You're right. I'm trying. There we go. I'm trying. This is really hard. These are. There we go. That's one. How many times did I, did I say this was a bad idea? Oh, that's good. Can escape, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Think you can steal from us? You're dead men. In front of you, Arthur. I'm trying. It's really hard. Did he just? Did the train just run over the horse? I don't even know, man. God. Yeah. Is that an enemy? You think we wouldn't find you? You ain't got a chance. Good shot. Wow, I'm really good at this. I don't know how I'm doing this, but it's it's really hard to shooting moving targets. Don't think so. How exactly was that something? over a few bottles of booze. I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. We're not. I guess we're a gang. I don't know. I was gonna say we're not a gang, but we are, obviously. Oh my god, this is terrible. How many times did I say this was a bad idea, by the way? Just... I, I don't understand. Oh. What, what was the point of doing all this for some money? Ten dollars? God, man. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... Advertising. <laughs> Advertising. <laughs> you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, <laughs> let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. I'm not an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, speak to Dutch. 
Oh, so just skip the Dutch. So what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <shoe here. laughs> exactly. Okay. So what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. <laughs> you sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? <laughs> Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. You've gotta write a letter. Okay, that's a good reason. I mean, okay, so we have three quests. Letty here and Hosea and Javier and John over there. I don't know, man. Okay. I, I don't agree with what's going on here, but... <sighs> God. M maybe this, that's just me. I, mm, I guess we should do Lenny's mission, but not right now. We're going to stop here. I am out of time. Let me look at the timer. 30 minutes in. Probably not. There's no time for like another mission. I'm going to save before I do anything because... There was one time where I forgot to save and that was really bad. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Okay, I guess we'll see how this goes. This is kind of interesting. Uh, I, I would have thought you, you join, join like one family and help those, but the two of them at once, this is gonna be, we're gonna be spread thin here. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, for now, thank you all for watching and I hope you have a good day.